On behalf of the Mount Shasta by Regional Ecology Center, we are honored to be with you here today for the ceremony to honor and give gratitude to Mother Earth. My name is Rena Briga. And I'm Valerie de Magdalena. Valerie and I will be sharing the ceremony with you today. It's a ceremony that we've trained in, having followed the Andean Peruvian tradition of creating despachos. We'll be explaining more about what despacho is as we go along. Thank you again for joining with us today. Today offers us the opportunity to awaken our consciousness and to remember our place within the sacred web of life in the spirit mother of us all, Mother Earth. With a heightened awareness of climate change, indisputable evidence of the devastating environmental effects, we as a humanity must find a way to stay in right relationship with Mother Earth and to acknowledge the necessity for each of us to maintain a respectful and harmonious relationship with her for our own salvation. Much of what our society deals with today is a sense of separation from all of nature. When we consider that with the without what we see in nature is all the reflection that is within each of us. The trees are the lungs, represent the lungs of our body. The rivers, the circulatory system of our bodies. The ocean of our heart and the pounding of the waves are pulse. This is something that we must remember in order to move forward. In the Andes of Peru, there's a paradigm that honors the sacred relationship between Earth and humanity. This sacred relationship of reciprocity is called Aini. Aini reflects the importance of maintaining a harmonious relationship with Mother Earth by making ceremonial prayers and offerings as a means of giving thanks for the sustenance received. At one level, this is a way of life, um, a way that one moves through one's day. But the most common formal form of offering Aini is a ceremony uh, wherein one makes a mandala of physical offerings um, infused with prayers, and this is called a despacho. Today we'll be creating and offering a despacho to Mother Earth in honor of and as part of our Earth Day celebration. Despacho is an Andean ceremony of making offerings to Mother Earth and to the various elements of nature. And as importantly, to petition the beings of the spirit world. The despacho offering today consists of various prayer-infused ingredients representing the animal, plant, mineral, and human kingdoms. These ingredients will be arranged similar to a mandala, bundled in today will be offered to Mother Earth, which will be offered as a burial into the earth, offering our gratitude for the sustenance that we receive. Valerie and I will create the despacho today on behalf of all humanity. We will film portions of the ceremony rather than the entire ceremony and invite you to energetically join with us. In front of me, I've prepared everything that I will need to do the despacho ceremony. The flowers that we will use to decorate the despacho, the mandala after it's finished, these arrangements of uh, leaves um, into which we're going to blow prayers and a variety of ingredients over here on the right side from the four kingdoms that we will use to create our despacho. I also have some blue cornmeal, tobacco, and some sacred waters that I will use to prepare the paper for the despacho ceremony. 
The first act in the creation of the gazpacho is the consecration of the ceremonial ground. And we do that by spraying a little bit of floor water, uh, sacred water, um, onto the ceremonial ground. Following that, there are some ingredients that we use to prepare the paper and the ceremonial ground itself. The first is uh, sacred cornmeal. So I blow my prayers into it and then create a circle representing the hoop of life the living, animate universe, which reminds me to take my place in that hoop of life, in that living, animate universe. The next ingredient is sacred tobacco. With that, I draw or create a equidistant or equal limbed cross going from north to south and going from east to west. This, the north to south line on our cross represents coming from spirit into matter and then going back into spirit again. And uh, line going from east to west represents our biological life. The cross on our paper reminds us that we want to live our lives right in the center with our physical life in service to our spiritual life. sacred offering into Pachamama or Mother Earth. And before doing so, I'm going to consecrate this area that we have just created for Mother Earth to receive this offering with Florida water, tobacco, cornmeal, and a little bit of red wine.
Christ and Bioregional Ecology Center. We are grateful that you were able to be with us today to share in this earth-honoring ceremony. And we give thanks as well to the ancestors and the indigenous people who have shared these traditions with us since time immemorial. At this point, I'd like Val then to read something, a speech from Chief Seattle that feels very appropriate for this day. This we know. The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. This we know. All things are connected, like the blood which unites one family. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. We did not weave this web of life. We are merely a strand in it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. To see out. Thank you again for being with us today, and we encourage you in whatever way possible, in your own way, please stay in balance and give gratitude to Mother Earth and for nature, for we are all one. Thank you for joining with us today. Thank you.